Welcome back, everybody. It's another episode of Connect, Share, Prosper. I'm your co-host, Chris Angel, here with your host, Chaz Wilson. Hello, Chaz. Hey, Chris. Howdy, howdy. Hey. I like I like what we're, uh, we're talking. I'm just diving right in. We're talking about yes. uh, how to get the most out of your networking group. Um, yes. I think it's important because a lot of people can get on autopilot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not speaking from experience. It's totally hypothetical. Yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> It's yeah. just easy to go on autopilot. And, I, so I, and then I sometimes wonder, like, how do I get more out of it? So, so talk me through that. Well, let me ask you a question. What is it that helps you? Like, when you say I go on autopilot, like, what does that mean? Because I want to give context to this. So for you, when you yeah. say I'm on autopilot, what does that feel like? So maybe someone goes, oh, that's me. I'm, I might be on autopilot. Well, I think, I think um, so I, it's not to say I don't get something out of my chapter meetings, right? Like, when I go to my networking group, I get great um, – conversation. I enjoy the fellowship of it. I enjoy the, the dialogues we have. Um, I, you know, I let people know about my business and then, and then it's, once that's over, it's kind of like the rest of my week happens and nothing else about my chapter is there. Right. It's just kind of like over until it happens again next week. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you're, you're dead on and it, it goes to the preparation. Well, it's whether it's follow up from the last meeting or preparing for my next meeting is kind of the same thing, right? I'm always preparing for that next conversation I'm going to have. Yeah. And part of that preparation goes to time blocking on my calendar for things I'm going to do for people in the chapter or uh, sending referrals. So this happened the other day, actually um, reminded me uh, after talking to somebody that needed to send this referral, I've been needing to do this for a while. Hmm. So I just put it on my calendar to reach out to this person. I reached out to him and said, Hey, I have somebody in my chapter that I'd like to send you. Okay, great sent that information. The thing is like, if I don't put it on my calendar and I'm not intentional about trying to connect the members of my chapters to other people, mm. it doesn't happen. And that's when I find I get in that automated where I'm showing up to the meeting, waiting for the meeting to pour into me right. versus showing up going, who could I contribute to today? Mm -hmm. And when I'm coming at it going, who am I going to be able to contribute? I'm like, my awareness is really, my antennas are on, right? Like I'm yep. listening, I'm looking, I'm, 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 listening to the conversations, raising the caliber of those conversations in my, in my group. Yeah. And I think that that helps me not get coasting right in my chapter. I just show up and go, all right, what right. Do you got for me today. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. I think there's like, uh, it reminds me of, um, I don't know, my, back in my church days of like, you know, people showing up to church to get fed rather than showing up to church to, to connect and to feed others. Like, like it, it's not like, one's better than the other. There's, there's a space for both, but it for is sure. easy just to show up to church, get poured into. And, and I think you yeah. sort of miss half the, half the point. Well, what's funny is so many people have referred to their master chapter as their, their, their business church, right? It's like, yeah. go there. And, and, and so it's funny you say that because, you know, I find the same way for me in, at the master Oaks chapter or at church where I'm like, if, if I'm not going mentally prepared and I'm not ready to listen, right, to really hear what's happening and, and be attentive and be aware, of this just happened this last week, I had this sort of um, impression in my, in my mind to go talk to this gentleman who I, I know fairly well, um, but I don't know exactly why. I just, like, I just kind of went, oh, okay, I need to go talk to this guy. I saw him lingering after services, and uh, he's a single man in his, uh, like, early 60s. And I just went over and said, hey, how was the holidays? How was Christmas? All that good stuff. Hmm. Started talking and, and he started sharing. Like I realized through this conversation, the short of it is hmm. single guys, kids live out of state. He's like really lonely. Hmm. And I think he was lingering for some reason and I needed to go talk to him. And yet I went home that day uh, talking to my wife and my kids. I was like, man, I got so much out of today. Hmm. And it was really just because I went to contribute not even really knowing that's how I was going to contribute then to what am I going to get from today? And it's no different in our chapters. When I'm going to contribute, who could I serve today? Who could I help today in my chapter? Who could I find? Who could right. I up? Man, it changes everything. It's amazing how, when I do that, I find. So that's one, that's one really big key. I, I, you, what you just said made me think of um, like, it's easy to show up because it's what we do. Like, oh, I have this appointment, I show up and I'm, and I'm going to be there and we'll see what happens. But there's something else about like um, being the change you want to see, right? Like you show yeah. up and you say, what do I want out of this? And if you don't say that, sometimes people, uh, and I've had this, I think sometimes people feel like, well, this isn't my chapter. I'm not the president. I didn't start mm -hmm. the chapter. I'm a guest, even though I'm a paying member of, a, of, of the networking group, 
I'm a guest in here. And so I don't really have a voice to be a leader. So I can't really ask for what I want. Do you know what I mean? A hundred percent. And yeah. let me let's go back to something. Cause I think you and I, because the type of people we are, I, mean, I made an assumption at the very beginning. Mm. Right. And that is this, and you just said it like showing up is easy, showing up isn't easy for some people. Like I should back up even before that. Like number one, be present, be physically there yeah. to get yeah. something out of your chapter. And I, and I only say that because, and probably those listening are the ones who are going. So I'm kind of preaching to the choir, if you will, again. Yeah. But like I have somebody who's in my chapter and I had a referral for them for three weeks, but I really wanted to talk to them. Now I could have picked up the phone. I just kept assuming I would see them at my chapter and I'd go and I go and they're not there and they're not there. And then finally I'm like, I just went and did business somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And so you have to show up. That's sending a message. And then when you are there to your point, like, well, it's not my chapter. Like we say all the time in master networks, if you see something, say something, take, take, the initiative to do something to improve the group, to improve the right. chapter. I guarantee your chapter president, if it's not, if you're not the president, would love someone to step up and say, hey, can I help with this? Absolutely, yes, please. Yeah, yeah I mean, how many times have you led something where it's like, you're trying to pull people along to get them to help and, and how much you love it when someone's like, hey, do you mind if I help with this? Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I, let me say this to all of those that aren't the, the presidents or, or in a leadership role in a chapter. It's like, look, yeah, like, um, just because somebody else is leading it doesn't mean they don't want you to participate, like to contribute or to participate or say something like you don't, you don't step on my toes or my ego by saying, Hey, I have an idea. Can I run with it? Like, I'm like, yes, please. Like, what do you got? You know? Yeah. Well, there's no coincidence or there's definitely a correlation to the people who are totally engaged like that. Yeah. And the amount of business they're getting from the network. Mm. Oh, not oh, a mystery. Dude, that's so good. Listen, how you do anything is how you do everything. If you're not exactly. showing up in the chapter, then outside it in the real world, you know, the same behaviors are at play. Like you don't, you may not volunteer something. You may not ask for something. It's how you do anything is how you do everything. It's perfect. So true. And I know we've talked about that before, but it, mm -hmm. it goes up at the chapter level. Like I, I love the people who just, and I, and I visit some pretty big chapters and they'll yeah. come and they sit down, they're out. Like they don't talk to anyone before. I don't talk to anyone after they're not doing face-to-face -face meetings. They're not engaging with anyone. You no. Know, and then they're the first to say, uh, I'm not getting anything out of this. Well, mm -hmm. of course you're literally not giving anything to it. And it's, isn't that an interesting thing? Like this yeah. organic living thing. And if you're not right. feeding it, if you're not giving something to it, you're just the laws of nature and that are not giving it back to you uh, for that very reason. People are smart just because you pay a membership does not, require us to give you a referral. You still have to earn it. You still have to show up and deserve it. Uh, and, and I think the problem, and I said this this weekend to a group of entrepreneurs who were talking about networking and they asked me on a panel and I said, the problem with networking is, and we talked about this on a previous topic, if you go back and listen to this episode, I talked about that they typically say, well, how long is this going to take versus how far can I take this? Mm -hmm. right? right? And if, yeah. and if you're going into this chapter going, well, how, how long is this going to take for me to get my ROI on my investment? Mm. You just raise your hand and step out now. Like, first of all, the chapter doesn't need people like that. Right. Um, you're not going to get what you want out of it. So just might as well just move on, quite frankly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so good. Well, how would you summarize this conversation of how to get the most out of your network, networking group? Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> be present, show up. You've got to be physically there. You can't miss meetings and not show up. Yeah. Um, be on time. Right. Mm -hmm. and look for ways to add value to your chapter, mm -hmm. serve in positions of leadership. Uh, ask your chapter president, like, like my chapter president, she's amazing. We've showcased her many times. She does awesome things, but like don't pay for the room ahead of time for the quarter that we're in. We actually pay a small amount for the room. It's a really nice facility and we're all cool with that. Mm -hmm. But she's going around asking people for the money and she's got a spreadsheet and like often I'll stand up and say, guys, pay your dues. Like don't make her have to chase you down. Right. I'm trying to help support her over there or serve on committees or whatever it is. Um, and look for ways to serve your members in the chapter Man, yeah. you do that. Like you've got nothing to worry about. Number one, you're going to get referrals. And number two, you're insulating yourself from market conditions right. that may mm -hmm. go South because you've got this strong network around you. Sometimes it's doing more with what we already have. Like if you already have a networking group, then sometimes it's just like digging in and finding how do I do more with what I already have? I think sometimes we're, we're out always looking for the next thing to add. And sometimes we don't need to add more. It's just 
invest in what you've got, which is in, in this conversation, your networking group. So yep. good stuff, Chaz. If people want to learn more about Master Networks, um, plug into a chapter or create their own, where can they go? Yeah, just go to masternetworks.com, fill out the information. One of our team members will get back to you. You can also visit our YouTube channel, our Facebook page. We've got all kinds of info on starting or joining the chapter. Love it. Good stuff. Thanks for your time today, Chaz. We'll catch you next time. All right, be well.